All right. This is Grandfather. Greetings. I'd like to introduce you to something new now. For some of you, it will be the answer to something that has been confusing you or been a mystery. Some of you have noticed a definite sense of energy either on the left side of your head or the left side of your body or some of you on the top of your head or even uh, someplace else. But it's a definite sense of energy you can feel. For those of you used to feeling energy, you know that something's going on and it feels good and you have this question, is this for something? It is for something. I want to introduce you today to applied transformation. I've talked about transformation before, but I want to give you something you can do that you can literally use to temporarily transform the energy of an object into something that is more compatible with yourself. I want you to start doing it that way because that way you'll have an instant feedback to know whether something is compatible. Even if you're working with somebody that you know well and that you feel good about and that you think is pretty honest with you most of the time, the best evidence for training is to do this with yourself. So if your partner feels funny that you're not doing something with them, just say that this is grandfather's instructions. Feel free to blame it on me. Now, this is what to do. It is not complicated. This is particularly useful for those of you who do massage or some kind of body work where you have to have certain things in a room. Say you've got a client coming that's very sensitive or for whom you need to be sensitive in order to know not only what to do and how to do it because you have this knowledge, but to remain as attentive as possible without being distracted. And when you're dealing with sensitive situations, whether it's like this in a professional situation or whether it's something else for you, perhaps you just need to have your room where you sleep or your place where you work to be as attuned to you as possible, just for examples, then this is going to come in very handy. Say you have to bring some object into the room, something you can carry, something that you can lift up. This is what to do. This involves a technique that is not new, but it has an effect that might surprise you. Take an object, say any object that you can hold, and holding your palm down, in your right hand is what I recommend. Put the object either in front, say, of your forehead, if that's where you're feeling the energy, or in front of the left side of your face, or basically in front of the area where you've been feeling the energy lately. Then take a breath in from your solar plexus, making sure that you center in that part of your body first, all right? And uh, breathe in deeply, not uh, to your capacity, just comfortably deeply. And then holding the object in front of that area where you have the energy, breathe out of that part of your body into the object. You understand, of course, you will be breathing out of your mouth, all right? But imagine the energy coming out of that part of your body into that object. Do so very slowly. You will probably feel the energy pass through that object and down into your arm. Now, if this is metal, you want to do this as slow as possible. 
so that any discomfiture in that metal will not go into your body. Something you could do first, if it's metal, is to take the object, holding it in your hand with your palm down if you can. If you can't, and you have to support it with two hands, then use the back of your left hand, not the palm, all right? So holding it with the palm, all right, first in case the object doesn't feel good, and supporting it with the back of your left hand if necessary, hold your right arm out straight and point the object in some direction that is safe to point it to, meaning the energy you're going to blow off of that object is not going to harm anyone, so aim it up if you can. <clears throat> and then, simply exhale in the way I mentioned, only exhaling through your arm, all right? Blowing out through your arm, otherwise, of course, you're blowing through your mouth, but what's happening is that you picture either white light or gold light, if you like, going through your arm, through the object, and you blow off in that direction that feels safe. You can do that once or twice, if the object feels very uncomfortable to you before you go to bring it into your room. But say it doesn't feel uncomfortable, then you just do what I mentioned before, holding the object in one hand, or if necessary, at the back of your left hand supporting it, blow through that part of your body where you've been feeling all that energy. All right? You will find then, if you are standing in the doorway, all right? This is the thing. There is a doorway going into that room, say, all right? You don't walk into the room. You stand in the doorway so that you're just slightly outside the door, you see, while you're doing this process. And then you reach, after you do this with the breath once or maybe twice, generally speaking, once is enough. Then you reach forward with the object, pull the object away from that part of your body that has the energy, and reach forward with the object so that it extends into the room and notice how you feel, all right? For those of you who are really sensitive with energies, you might have done that first before you did the energy into the object, and uh, it didn't feel good. So then you do this technique, and what happens is that it transforms the discomforting aspect in that object into an energy that is compatible with you. If you are a practitioner, as I said, then you will know the energy that's compatible with you. It is not necessary, if you are a practitioner, to try to get the energy compatible with the patient or client. Because you, even though you might be able to synthesize that energy or put yourself in the frame of being that person and blowing into the object, it is not going to change the fact that the entire room is energized to you. Now, I would recommend, if you're a professional, to do it just so that the objects are clearly comfortable to you. I feel this happens a lot for people who are in these kinds of professions. And it's awkward, isn't it? Especially if you're seeing many people a day, say you're working with different objects, and you have your methods of clearing them, but you're not always sure. Or you need to use something that isn't entirely clear yet, using the methods you use to clear them. This will work. And the nice thing about it is that it can be done frequently if necessary. Remember, when you put your hand into that space, as long as that energy feels good with the object going into that space, and you have these feelings in your body, you see, then you will take the object into the space. Don't do this with people. 
It is not your job to transform the energy of people. And this includes babies, and it also includes dogs or cats. They are who they are, period. Okay? So no trying to transform the energy of animals, babies, children, adults, nothing. But it works fine to transform the energies, at least temporarily, of physical objects. And I think you'll find this to be very useful. I wanted to give you something today that you could see is leading to something else. Transformation ultimately leads to the transformation of the molecular structure, albeit on a temporal basis, from what it was to something slightly different than what it was. We're not going to be changing lead into gold, so don't get any bright ideas. But it is about how things are transformed to become compatible with other things so that there is a mutual benevolence and acceptance. Good life.